my research team develops uh, new power converters to make use of renewable energy. Some of my team members take topologies and architectures and model them using a geometric technique. The geometric technique gives insight into the behavior so we can control the system with outstanding performance to get the most out of, for example, a PV panel or do battery charging efficiently. Inside the energy system, we have components, for example, a battery charger. And we look into the topology inside the battery charger and we modify it so we can get features that were not possible before. For example, recovering a dead battery in an electric vehicle. We are developing technology to charge batteries through a wireless process. This is called wireless power transfer. In the future, energy will have to come from renewable sources like wind and solar. What we do with the power converter is we program it with an algorithm that is adaptive so it can take the maximum possible energy from both wind and solar. From DC-DC converters for smart grid applications to motor drives to wind turbines generating 100,000 watts or mobile phone chargers consuming just a couple of watts, controllers are an essential component of all of these power converters because they help minimize system failures by sensing and processing electrical variables. Here at UBC with Dr. Ordonez, we're changing the way the converters are understood. By employing a geometric domain defined by the electrical variables, we could describe the, the converter's behavior as an average natural trajectory, which we can employ to remain at the operating point we want to be at, departing from any operating point the converter might take by following reliable paths, avoiding any peak or drop we don't want there. Here at UBC, we are working to make power more efficient and cost-effective. There are many components used in electric vehicles, and one of the most expensive parts is the battery pack. New kinds of batteries can be completely discharged, but existing battery chargers have difficulties in order to restore. But now, by adding just one element, dead batteries can be recovered. The figures on the left side demonstrate the regulation result from an LRC power converter. By adding just one capacitor, the new topology is able to achieve significant regulation improvement. Wireless power transfer is a new and convenient technology which allows you to charge your portable electronics and electric vehicles without bundles of cords. At UBC, we are developing very thin planar spiral windings that can charge mobile devices wirelessly with excellent performance. I place two of the windings here. We can see the magnetic field generated on the oscilloscope. By slightly changing the geometry of the windings, excellent improvements in size and efficiency can be achieved. Now we are working to make the system larger, able to charge things as large as electric vehicles with high efficiency. Optimizing energy extraction is another important focus of our research. We want to make sure that we are transferring as much energy as possible to the load. This can't be done using traditional control schemes. It requires the development of smart algorithms and devices that can overcome the different problems that each resource has, like a shadow on a PV panel or a gust of wind on a wind turbine. With Dr. Ordonez, we are actively researching the new power converter topologies, the control schemes and algorithms that target renewable energy sources. We are helping reduce the cost and complexity of this system, allowing for a broader application of solar, wind, and other renewable energies in the near future. Systems research is advancing quickly at electrical and computer engineering, and that's with the help of our industry partner. UBC's Campus as a Living Lab has enabled us to use the campus infrastructure as a testbed for smart grid technology. Research from the project will help evaluate scalable, clean energy solutions for cities and communities of tomorrow. When we combine topologies, architecture, components and controls, we're able to put together very complex energy systems. We are very excited about the Campus as a Living Lab program. We can take the energy system and test it on campus at the building level and at the community level with 60,000 people.